hello twin flames thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day and every day i'm shuffling and i'm wearing a little bit of bling today because it's the day of power 10 10 you know it's the 10th of december and 10 10 is power so i feel you may be seeing that number you may also see some leaves falling off the trees you know, there's leaves everywhere right now here in the UK. You know, there's a lot of crazy energy around. The weather is nuts right now, but there's also leaves around. So if leaves fall around or you see anything and leaves are falling off trees, if you watch a show and that's happening, it's a symbol of change. The things sometimes have to fall away so that they can rebuild. You know, the trees don't stress over those leaves falling off because they know in the springtime they're going to grow back beautiful. And that's what the angels want you to know today, that your journey is going to grow into something so much more beautiful than you can even dream about. The universe has that plan. So I'm going to bring in some tarot today. So I'm going to bring in the feminine message tarot, the masculine message tarot and the twin flame message tarot. So what's the energy around the masculine today, please, angels? One card, wow. What's the energy around the divine feminines today, please? The energy around the feminines today, what do we need to know? One card and one moving on the top there. And what's the energy around the connection? The energy around the connection today, please, angels. The energy around the connection, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? Wait until I get clear cards, there we go. And then what energy is around the feminine today? And what energy is around the divine masculine? There we go, okay. So let's start with the energy around the connection today that we've got the wheel temperance and the ten of swords wow so this is a great sign that there's a completion phase occurring i love that we've got the ten because it's the tenth today and i really do feel that if you've seen the number ten ten significantly that's a symbol of completion it says rise up like a phoenix from the ashes you were born to shine you were born to shine both of you feminine and masculine you know, sometimes as a divine feminine, we forget that our masculine is just as powerful as we are. We forget that they are just as intelligent as we are and just as spiritual and psychic as we are because they may be hiding that side of them. But it does not mean it isn't there. This is why they are interested in physical things and spiritual things. They are interested in all kinds of things. That's why you have very deep conversations. You know, that was what, something that really attracted me to my twin. The fact that we can have a lot of fun and we can be childlike and stupid and silly, but we can sit down and have the most deep, intense conversations that, you know, I've ever had in my life. So rise up today like that phoenix. Phoenix get born through the ashes. Rise up. You may see phoenixes today. This is a big sign of change. So I feel 1010 10 today is a power number for you to remind you on this day as we move towards 1212, 12, which is all about stability, the big changes ahead. And everything is happening the way it's meant to, have faith in divine timing. So everything is happening for growth and learning. Everything is happening the way it's meant to right now. So the wheel is about divine intervention. <clears throat> and again, the block in my throat chakra. So if there's blocks in communication, or they haven't reached out yet, or you're still in separation, remember, everything has a plan. There's a reason. And you're learning how to be patient and to trust the journey. Be patient and calm to achieve the results that you seek. Be flexible and adaptable to change and be at peace with your journey. Be flexible and adaptable to change. Now, that means if they cancel their plans on you, don't worry about it. We spoke about this yesterday, you know, let your life be so full and so whole and fulfilling that if they make plans and then break those plans for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. And the best way to look at it is this, you're always being protected. So if you have plans and they can't make it, think about how good it's going to be when you do meet up. Maybe they're in such a stressful energy or a negative frame of mind that it would just be toxic to you to be around them at this time and I know how hard it is I've been there okay where you know you get ready you do your makeup you put your clothes on you clean all the house you know maybe you're preparing for them to come for the plans that you've made together 
for hours and hours and then within seconds it, it's all gone and then you're thinking well what do I do now love life enjoy it enjoy being you enjoy everything that you can do and temperance is about just taking your time breathing relaxing being calm being grateful doing you and the masculines remember when they change plans on you are also teaching you to trust the love to let go to surrender so the energy around the masculine today we've got justice I need emotional balance. So he's reminding you he has to be able to give equally in this connection. I am reviewing my life to release myself from karmic binds and toxic situations to find peace. And this is what he's doing. This is why things are moving forward. And I feel some of the masculines could be driving somewhere today. Or they could be driving around to try and gain clarity on their situation. And we've got the eight of swords. The mind can be a prison. You hold the key to your own freedom. So your masculine will make that decision to leave and walk away at the exact right time. And if there's delays, they won't be forever. So as delays in communication are not forever, let go and focus on you. Let go and focus on you. So the masculine is trying to find a way out of his situation. He's showing you he's being reborn on this energy of 10, 10, 10 power. And he's saying to you, these delays won't be forever. It's not always going to be like this. You know, trust the love. So the angels are reminding you, Divine Feminine, to let go and focus on you. And to be flexible and adaptable to change. And we've got bless the past because the best is yet to come. Bless the past. Especially if you're going into any fear. You know, thinking, oh, I really wanted to spend that night with him. Or I wish it was how it used to be. Or bless the past because the best is yet to come so if he cancels plans or something doesn't go to plan don't be angry or frustrated or create a problem instead say i bless it because i know the best is yet to come it's going to be even more better than it could have been if it had turned up and look at this i trust in karmic ending so this is super powerful because in the masculine tarot we've got the justice card and in the feminine tarot We've got the justice card. So two separate decks of cards and the same message. So again, it's showing you that you are mirroring because family and you're saying, well, I trust in the karmic endings. I trust that you need this emotional balance so that we live a very equal, beautiful union and connection. And I trust that you are reviewing your life and doing your work to do what you need to do to find peace through the release of these karmic binds. And you're saying, I'm embracing the life of my dreams. So you're seeing this as a new beginning. You know, December has been a power month, you know, especially since Sagittarius energy came in because that brought with it so much power and fire, especially around the new moon, but it also brought heavy energies. And we've had to release that. And this full moon has brought in clarity and power. So you're saying now, I'm embracing the life of my dreams. I'm going to start living life full and whole and wonderful and magical regardless of the situation because I know that it serves me for you to take your time <clears throat> and come forward when the air can be cleared so you can be yourself and open this door and this is reminding you divine feminine that your masculine is doing the work they're very aware of what they need to do so trust them to pick up that key and turn the lock and free themselves from the prison of their mind so divine feminine, trust in karmic endings, trust in divine timing, and most importantly, trust yourself and trust the love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.